Right on, it's time to get the truck going. I did the oil cooler on it to hopefully fix. It was getting water into the oil and the sump and I fixed the oil cooler, did all the seals in it, pressure tested it, all that was good. I've changed the oil about three times now and it's still getting water in the oil. So I've just pulled the injectors out and had a look at the injector tubes. And I mean, they're pretty bad. But none of them look like they've been leaking. I'm going to pull the head off and see if it's a head gasket and see if I have to go past that. Hopefully it's not a liner and it's just a, a weep or a track in the head gasket. I can just get the head resurfaced. Get this loose now. Yuck. Look at that. It's like jelly in there. It's disgusting. That's all the... Must be all like the condensation from the water burning off in the engine. But you can see it's still getting water in it. All the rocker gears off, the manifold. Pulled all the rocker arms off, the rocker assembly. And the, these are the push rods. There's one here. This could be a, an issue. There's a massive groove worn in the shaft of it. So for some reason it's been hitting something. And there's a little bit of marking on this one. So once we pull the head off, I suppose we'll be able to determine what was going on with that. Keep coming. Put the head chained up here. It's just bending. Whoa. That was probably more violent than I was uh, anticipating. Well, it's got doubt here, that's why. It must be jammed on the doubt here. Actually, it looks really good. I've got it still hanging from the forklift. But I don't see any like tracking or anything. A little bit of carbon build up. The valves all look good. There's no obvious cracking or anything. And there's no tracking where water's gotten in. All the Welsh plugs underneath look good, like really good. Yeah, if we come over to the motor. Yeah, I can still see cross hatching, so it's actually really good. I suppose it's just a matter of getting them out and seeing if the seals are all good on them. There was no obvious signs of tracking on that that I could see either. I've just put a steel straight, well, an aluminium straight edge along the uh, top of the pot. And it is looking pretty slick. Doesn't look like it's dropped a liner to me. I suppose I might pull the sump off next and then pop the pistons out. I'm under the truck here. I've just got the sump off. And you can see here, this is the pickup screen. And it's just like muck. That's probably why I had a low oil pressure light. Pulls the cap bolts off and slide the pistons out. Our first piston out, number three. Here's a look at it. Wow, it's big. All right. What do the big ends look like? Not too bad, but yeah, definitely scoring in them, so I'll uh, need to do big ends. Here we have it. Oil pump sump, all the pistons. Back to bear. Just spent about an hour making up a cylinder liner puller so I can pull the liners out. Hopefully it works. Just used a few scraps and Made a bit of a tower and a bit of threaded rod, and then I made up a plate that fits in nicely under the liner. I'm going to slide it down in the cylinder. A few more braces on my tool so it doesn't bend, but I think it's working. See what it looks like. Well. Well, that's the liner. Pull the rest. Here's another one. Jeez, that works beautifully. It's been a couple of weeks now and got all the parts that I need. Now, I ended up having to get the inside of the line is a, no worries, that good to use, except the problem with it, and I reckon why the water was getting into the oil, is where the pots seal or the liners seal against the O-rings is really corroded i've cleaned this one up and it's got marks in it so i'm thinking that's why it was leaking so we got the all new liners a set of liners they're relatively cheap i think they're like 170 bucks each or roughly something like that yeah they're beautiful brand new now the pistons the old pistons are i'm going to use i've got new rings for them so we'll put new piston rings on use new big end bearings and new main bearings i have well, a new head gasket and all the parts that I need. I've had the, I rebuilt the injectors and um, 
crack tested them and they all test up well. So they all got new nozzles on them. All the seals. And now I'm just working on the head, putting valve stem seals on and then I can get ready to put it all back together.